There's a conspiracy in the office of the Secretary of State. It's the case that caused us to learn about the, the home-brewed server in the Clinton uh, mansion. Clinton closet. Correct, <laughs> correct. He has already said, I'm authorizing you to take a deposition, an examination under oath, not in the courthouse, but in a lawyer's office, of Mrs. Clinton's closest aides. You tell me who they are, you make an application before me to name them, and I'll sign the order. And here's your charge, Judicial Watch lawyers. I, this is the court speaking, want to know if there was a conspiracy in the office of the Secretary of State to violate federal law. The espionage laws, exposing secrets, and the Freedom of Information Act laws, keeping secrets secret that are supposed to be exposed. And if there is, I want you to come back to me and ask for permission to depose Mrs. Clinton herself. Okay, Judge, I need to ask you because we're in an election year, as you know all too well. I mean, what are the chances that she's going to have to answer to this before November? The chances that the FBI will ask the Justice Department to present evidence to a grand jury and seek an indictment are very, very, very high. Very high. Like 8 no, out of 10. Easily. 9 out of 10. No one knows what the Justice Department will do. It's the political process. But if the FBI asks the Justice Department to present its evidence, that means they've got the evidence. They've corroborated it. They've corroborated it again. It's enough to indict her. It's enough to convict her. It's enough to prove guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. It's gone through all of these procedures, FBI agents and federal prosecutors. If the political arm of the Justice Department says no, expect a sample indictment to be leaked, expect the evidence to be leaked, expect FBI whistleblowers to be blowing whistles all over the place, and expect some resignations amongst senior FBI people. Right, and you say this can all happen, is likely to happen before November. If the scenario I just described happens, in my view, it will be just as devastating to Mrs. Clinton as if she's indicted. Why would the Democrats want the head of their ticket to be somebody that the FBI thinks is a criminal?